Hey yo, welcome back to another episode of Camp. Now, um, I've been grinding, so you're gonna notice a lot of the, a few changes to my um things, such as this bow. You know, just got a punch of power on it, and I'm breaking. Now, um, that's not the end of it. Due to all my grinding, which also when I say that, please future me put something cool up on the screen to be really cool, and you know all that. Um. We got a lot of XP, so we upgraded our stuff, made some new tools, and we're gonna go destroy a pickaxe down in the nether and get some netherite. Now, um, that's not all. We also have some other things to do. We gotta... We still have to build the, um, the pit, as I'm gonna call it. We still have to dig out this massive pit, which I really want to get done this episode. And... I think before we do that, we gotta do some stuff with villagers, and we have a lot of work to do. So, um, I guess with that in mind let's just head to the nether break that pickaxe get some netherite head back up deal with the villagers and uh yeah hopefully not suffer anymore so um little it's been mining for a while now and yeah first ancient debris let's see i think it's probably just a two vein yeah just a two vein All right, well, we're gonna continue mining, break the rest of these iron pickaxes, and then try and get a few more ingots. I don't know. Let's just get to this. Yeah. Another one. <gasps> mm. Okay, we've got ourselves an ingot? Question mark. All right, just one ingot at the moment. I think we're gonna have some good luck with this area. Ow. Ow. Ow, please stop. Ow, okay, I'm dead. I love netherite mining! <sighs> Alright, well, with that recovered, I guess let's just go back to mining. I should probably be a little more careful and not just have a joyride. But I'm also not the smartest when it comes to doing this. <laughs> I tend to be a bit of a buffoon. A moron, if you will. <sighs> okay, we're just gonna... I guess we're gonna strip mine out all this area where we found the netherite, because... Clumps. So, if, like, the netherite was around here, let's just start strip mining here. Just go out a bunch. And then do a grid pattern and see if we get anything. Alright, well, we didn't end up getting anything, uh, aside from those four. Honestly, could have been a little more productive, but whatever. Uh, we're just gonna head back, forge this, and get our stuff ready. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're gonna make some gold. God, I honestly want to do something involving quartz and like basalt or something in the fortress, but I don't know how. <sighs> Maybe just a nether hub. Hmm. And our first bar will be made in three, two, one. Nice. I don't have a smithing table. I just realized that. Now, since I am very prepared and I am always on time, I have my smithing table right here, placed and all cool. We have... Oh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm a moron. F4! Fortune 3 Netherite Pickaxe! Yeah! Okay, cool. We should be able to mine that out a lot faster. But, of course, one thing I think we do need to do is get that iron farm up and start trading with villagers. So we're going to head on over to um, the village nearby and we're just going to, you know, do some peaceful trading. Welcome back. So I kind of forgot to mention this. Um, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be constructing a sort of villager, breeder, you know, all that good stuff. Also, we're going to be working on making an iron farm and... I think next episode, I don't think we'll have the time for it, trying to maybe upgrade and build like a better grinder over here, make XP easier, because I think it's hard. Anyways, um, I'm just going to record all this as I build, and um, yeah, uh, let's just get back to it. <laughs> Villager housing apartment deluxe edition with added iron golem defenses. Multiple bells to ensure the security of these poor souls. 
a grand entryway of a double door. Nice and very good, very well-made sleeping accommodations. A mismatched roof, just for added detail. Plenty of workstations, not to, you know, force them into uh, working for me. And... Yeah, not much else to say other than that. This is all very humane and very normal. Um, and like I said, what we're going to be trying to do is trying to get our hands on mending and setting up some kind of iron farm. So, I think... These people, these villagers, I think these guys are just going to stay here for a while. But I you with a spear. Good farmer. Ow. Another fall is some no. really good content. Maybe. Here. I don't oh. want to be here for an hour. Please, man. Just so, projectile not. prot. I don't, I don't care. Need. Take charge. No. no. Why are you up here? Why? No. Sleeping edge. Given no. Or, like, Please. I, I just I need blur. mending. God. You are very replaceable. Multi shot. Knock, no. knock okay. back. I think that first shot here is going to be bad. Okay, you know what? No. All right. No. Okay, Jerry. I'm sorry. You're short lived. Self touch again. I want to give really? you thorns. But you have offered me lore six times. You will perish now. Do we make ourselves clear? You don't get to walk away from me. You know what? Fine. You, you get one more chance. Jerry, you son of a bitch. You lucky bastard. Jerry, I swear to God. If I come back... No. No. God fuck. No! Larry! Jerry! God damn it, Larry. Whatever, whatever you're... You know what? Jerry, I swear... so much. It costs so much. <laughs> I'm tempted to kill him. I could get a new one. Uh... <laughs> Why, Jerry? Why do you have to make this so difficult for me? Fine. We'll set up these, and if I can get mending from a different one, we'll just use them. No. Obviously. I... Why luck of the sea? Riptide. Okay, that's actually kind of decent. Okay, well, what we're going to do is we're going to set up farmers. A wall. Brothers, I need your carrots. Yeah, carrots, potatoes, wheat, all of it. Ah, uh, it's just wheat. Okay. Right. Okay, so, Jerry, he's got mending, but we've hit him multiple times. It's going to be very expensive. Yay! So what we're going to do is we're going to use all of the bones. Remember how we have a skeleton stray farm? We're going to use all of the uh, bones, and we're just going to reclaim everything. And we're going to grow all the crops. We're going to get so much. We're going to get our mending books, and we're never going to talk to Jerry again. And I swear, if I go back there and Jerry doesn't have mending, I'm going to stab him. He's already lucked out once. I was like, alright, you know what, Jerry, fine. We'll roll, roll it again. And then he gave us mending. And if he does it, I'm... I'm... No. I'm going to cause heresy. Alright. So. We have our bone meal. We're now going to bone meal literally everything. Everything must be bone mealed. I must get profits. Habu, where are you? There you are. There's no escaping. I know you're slow, but come on. We must appease Jerry. He requires emeralds. So many emeralds. Jerry, I swear. Please do not re-roll. If, if Jerry re-rolls, he's dying. There is no argument. Jerry! 
Jerry, Jerry, I know you can hear me. Jerry, your time is here. Your time has come. It is time for capitalism. I know you need these things. Oh my god. Please. Everyone. Give me your carrots. I mean, emeralds. I, I must consume. No, get up. It is not time to sleep. It is time for capitalism. It is time for carrots. Oi, up. Carrots. Now. Give me your emeralds. Uh, you. I summon you. Oh, you want bread. Okay, never mind. You want carrots. Yes, you're a good boy. Wait, someone here wanted potatoes. I know. The blob. Someone wanted potatoes. Yes, you. You have style. I respect you. You don't want any more potatoes. You're lame. Jerry, I have brought... Oh my god, his price has gone down. Jerry, you're a fantastic person. One mending book. Let's go. Oh my god. We have a mending book. Hallelujah. I'm never dealing with Jerry again. I think I'm going to execute him. Hell yeah. Actually, I don't think I will because Jerry is... Mm, Jerry. I still hate Jerry. I, I'm not getting over that. I absolutely hate Jerry. Jump. Habu, jump. Thank you. Jerry will perish one day and it won't be by my hand, but it will be by someone. I think he's going to die from a fish. Not going to lie. He seems like that kind of guy. No. You know what? In honor of Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. You, sir, are a true hero. You have saved me, like, not much time, honestly. But, um, still thank you, Jerry, for being cooperative. Maybe you'll live to see another day. Oh my god. I, I thought for the longest time I was going to be stuck there. I was like, I can buy another book! Quick, Habu! Habu, it is time. We're going back. We need to buy another book. Our capitalism is not over yet. Jerry. Yes, thank you, Jerry. Jerry, you're a good man. Maybe one day you'll get netherite. I don't know. Okay, I think I know what we're enchanting. This helmet has been with me. Why is it three? I don't... Okay, whatever. Um, this helmet... I've had for a while. And... It's, it's the only piece of armor that survived the dragon fight. So, instead of, you know, naming it something in honor of that... Pretty cool dragon fight. The Helm of Jerry, I think, is an appropriate name. Truly one which invokes a sense of respect to all who see it or something. I don't know. Okay, um, what we're gonna do is we are gonna set up an iron farm over there and we're gonna upgrade our beacon, and then we're gonna tear out this whole area over there and try and work on this, I think. I got some ideas over there. And, uh, yeah. Alright, um, I'm gonna go gather resources and then see you when I'm ready to build the iron farm. Alright, alright, well, we're back at the surface now. Uh, we're nearly to level 30. I think I'm gonna go kill something. <laughs> Stab something repeatedly. Get the XP, get to level 30. But, um, we've been mining! I only went down there for about a stack of redstone, and we came back with a lot of stuff also found six bread in a mine shaft because why not <laughs> um so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna smelt up everything start grabbing some glass and try and lure a villager uh try and breed some villagers and try and lure in a zombie and just trap them somewhere and i guess we'll just set up the iron farm from there and uh get everything done so let's just get to that Alright, so we're almost ready. I'm just gonna gather up some last supplies I need. Um, but I threw some stuff in here, and it looks like the, bur the breeder actually works, which is awesome. So we can have children now, and it's probably gonna get crowded in there pretty quick. So, um, I'm just gonna finish gathering up my stuff, and hope oh, Iron Golem. 
items don't start spawning everywhere because that can be really annoying. <laughs> Anyways, let's just get back to our stuff. Alright, so it's been a little while now. You can see we have golems that are starting to spawn from our <laughs> villager hut. Um, I'm just going to give you a tour, I guess, of the area and when I've done to it. So, inside we have... Oh! More kids, nice. We have just the main hall. Um, Jerry is still trapped, thankfully. Me and the rest of the farmers who will buy my stuff. Um, back there, that's actually a fun little area. Here, we're just gonna go around here. Um, also, carrot farm, that's how I've been making my income. You know, getting them to have kids. <laughs> so, this is the, um, I'm not sure how to call it without it being strange, so I'm just gonna call it the Child Trapper. Um, it's pretty straightforward, just an additional room of just trapdoors so the villagers think this is a solid block and they come running in and they fall off. Uh, <laughs> we might have too many villagers in there. <laughs> um, anyways, we're gonna kinda work on building up some sort of, like I mentioned, an iron farm, but it's gonna be a decent sized one taking up a good chunk of this space and, um, we're gonna get to it in just a moment. And what we're gonna be using is, I'm gonna put it in the description, is Shulker Crafts 1.18 Iron Farm. And it was designed by K1 Inc. So if you wanna watch the video on how to do it, then go, you know, look, it's in the description. So it's probably gonna be like the first link there. Anyways, this is all of our stuff. And also, and the water's not in there, but we have it. We're just gonna put it in later. So it's gonna be like this big structure, and I think. It'll just be best if we get to building it, so let's just get started with constructing this thing and see how it does. And before we do start, there's something I would like to mention that is incredibly good. Well, we got an impaler. We got a fork. I missed. I already threw it. But, oh, there we go. So, we have a fork now. And I am going to guard this with my life. That thing, what happened was, it was night. I'm heading back to the base to grab some more stuff, and I just see a drum of a trident. So I, I kind of just killed it. And now we have a trident. So this is this is really cool. Um, Now, uh, no more stalling. What we're going to do is we're going to head back over here. Don't mind the lava pit. And we're just going to start constructing the iron farm so we can get this all out of the way. All right, well, I may have forgotten to record by accident. I am I apologize. But um, we are now going to basically get the villagers into each side of their um, chamber and kind of just finish this up and go work on the base after AFKing for a while. So let's just get to this. All right, that's track one done, and we have our three built. Okay, I'm not even going to question that. Oh, you... <sighs> no! Is this what madness feels like? Am I in hell? Why? Screw it, we're building a safety wall. No, we didn't go over the safety wall. The safety wall is a harmful wall, and I think we're actually going to put a safety rail here. Just, just, just in case, another golem spawns on me in this- That one works. 
I now present to you one of my new favorite little farms. Oop, it's already producing. Right, so this is the iron farm. This is the grand tour of what I have constructed, and it is honestly an abomination. I love it. Now, dirty, filthy capitalism is at work here. Here's what's happening. When the zombie gets pushed up by the advanced circuitry that is happening here, the villagers up above begin to panic, so they call in reinforcements of an iron golem. Unfortunately, though, the iron golem can't really spawn in there. So, it spawns on the uh, cobblestone trap ceiling. It begins to fall. As you can see here, it goes to the extremely advanced water circuitry to inevitably fall into the lava pit where it will then become harvested for its iron and poppies. And, just for your listening pleasure, you can sit right here in this boat. It's backwards. Just for aesthetics, I mean. Sit in this boat. And listen. Oh, it stopped. Wow. Probably not for long, though. But yes, you can sit in here and you can listen to your fantastic crimes that you have just committed. Good job. You now have infinite iron. As you can see, it's already producing. Also, plenty of poppies. I think we're actually just going to expand this a little bit and uh, maybe come in here later to... Ooh, there it goes. Create some sort of better storage system. But I think for right now, I'm just going to sit here, AFK, and uh, see what we get. <laughs> It's really fun. Time to sit here and be AFK now. It has been 45 minutes, and we already have, yeah, more than enough iron. This farm is honestly incredible with the amount that it can produce, and I am really impressed with the design of this. I think I may also have to tear out some ground here because sometimes the golems have spawned down here, but I'm not sure. I'll check the replay later. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to head back to base. We're going to build up the beacon and then rip out the entire area because efficiency five. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's just go. It is now time to demolish everything. Nothing shall stand in my way as I... Oh. Never mind, we're gonna need another pickaxe. Alright then. Come on, man. F4, higher. <gasps> yes! Thank you! Oh my... Oh, I need one more emerald. Oh my... <laughs> okay. Alright. Um, Sarah, thank you. You are an absolute unit. Okay. Uh, efficiency 4. Finally. Okay. Um, can I interest you in an emerald? Thank you. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. Thank you. Uh, uh, Alright, now time to test this out. Will this insta mine? Uh, yes. Will this insta mine? Wait, does it? It insta mines. Okay, we're in business. Alright, now. Um, 
last episode I explained what the base is going to look like. If you haven't watched episode 3, go do it now. What we're going to be doing now is ripping out this entire cliff face because finally, efficiency 5, one of my favorite enchantments in the entire game, stronger than anything. Also, I should probably get better boots, but whatever, I don't care. Our goal now, completely destroy this cliff. We're going to probably have to rip out... Um, while we're here, I'm just going to explain this, what we're going to do. We're going to go over to that, like, the curved snow area, and I think we're going to rip out from here. And we'll try, we'll make this a more organic slope, I guess, instead of doing what I did in the creative world. So we're going to kind of rip out this area around, around that curve, around there, and this entire area is going to be completely torn out, I think. All of this. All of this is going to be gone by the time we're done today. And I don't care how long it takes. We're destroying it all. I am going to get this done this mission, this um, episode. So, without any more stalling, let's get destroying. And I actually remember to record this time. This is all of our progress. I had a lot of fun today. Like, I mean, the villagers were hell, but working on this was insanely fun. Just <laughs> getting, being able to insta mine again, really enjoyable. And I think we're gonna have a lot of interesting ideas with how to incorporate all these like natural bits into the next part of the base. Except we're not doing that today. I'll see you probably in the next episode. Basically. You know, usual stuff. We're running out of time. We're gonna end. So, I think with that, we did a lot of different stuff today. You know, but I think we're at the end of here. So, thank you for watching. Have a good time zone and stay safe. Bye. <laughs>